Hey, look at this big, like, bad haircut of a shrub. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's Danae or Danae racemosa, and it's got evergreen foliage that is in these big, broad, sweeping arcs. Uh, and look, this is August. It's putting on fruit, and these fruits will transform into red gumballs on this plant. Uh, this is an underused shrub. And the reason it's underused is because it's so slow growing, and so you actually don't see it a whole lot in the nursery industry, uh, but for a shady location, a dry shade location, uh, there may be nothing better that you can plant uh, for its architecture uh, and the way that it cascades. Beautiful plant. It's a need to know for some, somebody studying plants. So here you're looking at a, this plant a little bit closer. And if you were here to feel it, you would feel that it's, all, it's very waxy, it's dense, it's one that uh, it looks almost and feels a little bit fake. It's evergreen shrub, up to about four foot high and, a, and four foot wide, shiny bright green leaves, uh, alternately arranged on the stem, uh, but long, long, long uh, leaves for the stem. Everything about it is green, the leaves are green, uh, the stems are green. So we typically call this Alexandrian laurel or even poet's laurel. Uh, it's got green st stems that arch away from the center of the shrub. Again, uh, very sh showy leaves. Uh, the bloom in the spring is inconspicuous, but it does yield uh, these nice orangish red fruits in the fall. Really prefers moist, well-drained soils in shade, and there's no serious disease or insect problems that impact this plant. Here's a landscape tip. This might be just the best shrub for a shady, dry condition.